Jumbo, everybody. In today's video, I have an updated makeup routine for you guys. It's been a real long, like two years since I've done this, so it's due time. All right, bare face, this is what we're starting with. This is awkward, kind of awkward. Um, and then this is what the after is. This is what we're going for here, just by using all good, no, no yuck ingredients, cruelty-free makeup. So, alrighty, got my mirror, let's get started. So I start with the Savvy Minerals Mattifying Primer. So. The mattifying primer is, it's basically like you're painting a wall, right? You put primer on the wall before you actually put the paint on the wall, right? Gives a little more of an even coverage, uh, smoother application. Same thing goes here with using the Savvy Minerals makeup. Using the primer first, I have found that it feels like my pores are a little smaller. The, coverage goes on a little bit more complete and I also feel like I'm not greasy at the end of the day when I use this so it's like really like three birds one stone I really really like it so I'm going to take leftover eyeliner from yesterday using my eyeliner brush I'm going to paint that on my eyebrows and then I like to do this because after I do my foundation it kind of lightens the color up so it makes it look a little more natural so I like to start with my eyebrows so then I'm going to take my misting spray and spray it on my foundation brush and then I'm going to use the Savvy Minerals foundation. This is a combination of half warm one, half warm two. I am a little too dark for warm one, but a little too light for warm two right now until it gets to be summertime. So I do a combo and it works well for my skin. So I'm going to start, and it might seem a little weird, on my neck because <laughs> I want my neck and my face to be the same color, right? Many a time have I seen myself where my face is a lot darker than my neck and I'm like, what is going on? So I'd like to start with my neck first just to make sure I have a layer of foundation there and then I apply it to the rest of my face. So when I am applying this, the thing that was a little bit of a learning curve for me was I needed to buff this into my face for a long time. It felt like a long time to me. So I have been using mineral makeup for years, really long time. I actually started with Bare Minerals. And so when I started with that company um, using their makeup, I don't know, probably 10 years or more now ago, I was having really bad acne breakouts. And I was like, what is going on? I thought like, I just can't use mineral makeup. Something's wrong with me. What is it? It turns out that there's bismuth in that makeup. And a lot of times people can react and have like acne breakouts. So once I switched to using Savvy Minerals makeup, I have zero like makeup related acne issues. So it's worked out really well for me. So when you're using this foundation, the thing to just remember is you're gonna feel like you're buffing it on your face a lot, but it's buildable coverage. So once you like get into this routine, it's not gonna feel weird, um, but getting it all blended in there, especially with having the primer on your face, it just makes for such a more natural coverage. And then something that I do also is if I happen to have any spots on my face that I want a little more coverage, on, um, say I have like dark circles under my eyes, or if I happen to have an acne spot that I want to cover, or some old acne scarring that's kind of popping through because it's summertime, I will take my finger, dip it in the minerals, and pat that on instead of just like only buffing this in, which is something that I am going to do today. Um, just because I, you know, with the stress of everything that's going on, I've got a little bit of dark circles under my eyes, I've got, you know, a couple of spots on my face that I want to cover. So here I am, I'm going to just take my finger, dip it in the minerals and just like gently pat it on my face, any spot that I need. But you can see when it goes on, it's a little bit more complete of a coverage. There have been people who have mixed this with the Seedlings Diaper Rash Cream to make it like your own little concealer. I've never tried that, but I've heard really good results from it. I've seen good results from it from other people. So I might try that eventually. But so anyway, so I'm just putting it on spots that need a little bit more coverage and it does a great job. And so once I have that on, I need to set it, right? So I like to use a veil and this veil that I am going to use is called Diamond Dust and it's a little more of a shimmery. It looks really light there, but it's more of like just a shimmery top coat that you put on your face. And um, I like this because it's a little bit, it kind of reflects the light. It makes a little more of like a dewy type of glow without being wet. It's just, you know, a little bit of a shimmer. I, I really like shimmery kind of makeup. 
So then I like to use awestruck as the blush and so it's a little you can see there's a little bit of a shimmer there too this is a little more on the cool side i don't find my skin being warm or cool i find it being neutral so when i combine the warm color foundation with the cool color of blush i feel like that combo just works really well for my skin so i'm just using a blush brush and brushing it, that's hard to say, on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm doing, I put it on my neck too, because again, that whole like consistent color thing. And then I put it where the sun would naturally hit my face, which is up in my hairline, the bridge of my nose, and then on top of my chin. So now I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow. This color is called residual. And some people like to use the misting spray on their brush and like then dip it into the eyeshadow and like foil it on your eye. It kind of gives more of a darker coverage, um, but I'm just using it dry today. Um, just, you know, more of a natural kind of look. It works really well. It's more like a champagne shimmery kind of color. And then it is mascara time. So I am in love with this mascara. I need my mirror so I don't like get it all over my face. So this is the new, it's only been out for like two weeks, um, Savvy Lengthening Mascara. They also have a volumizing mascara that I have as well. But I've got to tell you, if you guys are Young Living users and you've tried the old mascara and you didn't like it, hi, I'm in that camp, um, get this one because it is so much better. So what I do is I do one coat on my lashes. It looks like I'm doing it a lot. Um, and then I'm going to take my eyelash curler and then tip it up at about a 45 degree angle. Now I got this tip from, I think it's Wayne Gross on YouTube. He's a makeup artist and it helps your eyelashes curl up a little bit better and stay curled all day when you do that. And so once I have that done, then I like to um, do another coat right on top and bingo, bango, that is it. And you can already tell just by me looking down my left eye versus my right eye, like there is a huge difference already just by like looking there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye as well. So I do one coat of the mascara and I just wanna make sure each of my lashes are coated, so that's why it takes me like a second to get it all on there. And then same thing, and this is a little bit of a better angle, you can see, um, I'm gonna grab my eyelash curler and then do the same thing. I clamp it down and then I gently like lift it up and like into my eye socket. That sounds really weird. It doesn't hurt or anything, it just looks a little wonky, but it is a really good tip for getting your eyelashes really curled. And so then I do one more coat of the mascara and call it a day with that. It's just, I feel like it makes my eyelashes look so much longer now. And I do have an eyelash growth serum recipe. If you guys are interested in that, I will put a card up in the uh, card section. And I'll also put it in the description bar below as well. So you guys can see how to do that using castor oil and essential oils. Works really, 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 really good. All right, so I want to use an eyeliner. So I'm actually using the misting spray inside the dark multitasker. So I like to, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I've, I took the little thing out because I wanted to be able to like get every little ounce of this out of here. And I take my eyeliner brush and it's kind of like a liquid eyeliner now that I have the misting spray in there. And I feel like it helps the eyeliner to be a little more bold, but it also helps it stick to my eyelid. It doesn't creep. It doesn't like go running down my face. I've even done this same trick when we were down at Disney. I literally can go all day at Disney with the eyeliner not moving when I do this. So really like that. So then the last thing to finish it off, I do two of the Savvy lipsticks. I do I Dare You and Daydream. And I do one on my upper lip, one on my lower lip because I want to have this like combo color. Again, it's a warm plus a cool color and it mixes really well for my, I guess, neutral skin tone. I'm just assuming that's what I have. And there we go. That is the end result, you guys. It was seriously, you were with me real time. This was basically a 10 minute face and call it a day. And that's a full face of makeup, y'all. So if you have any questions about Savvy, I would be happy to help however I can. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was enjoyable for you. If you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys are well. We'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye.